Outside the living quarters, BP engineer Hugh Edwards is on a bus taking workers to the nearby town. It's accompanied by an escort of armed Algerian gendarmes. About half a kilometre from the base, we came to our last vehicle checkpoint, which is a stop sign and a barrier. Effectively, all hell broke loose. I heard what I thought to be stones hitting the side of the bus on my right-hand side. Norwegian engineer Colburn Kirkebo is at the front of the bus. I was sitting in the second seat and I see a lot of gunfire. Almost at the same time, the, the first bullet hit the, the bus. And uh, I felt that it was not the correct place to, uh, to sit in the seat. So I lay down. Someone shouted, get down. And then I saw the, the vehicle doors open from the first and uh, third vehicle. Um, and guys, gendarmes coming out and firing off to my right hand side. I felt that something hit me in my right thigh and it was like, you, you felt like a little hammer hit. It was bullets. I was aware of a very, very deep sound. The heavy machine gun whooping up on us. You had this incredible sensation of being completely out of control of your situation. While the attack on the bus continues, a second group of terrorists strike at the living quarters. They overcome company security inside the plant. BP's most senior manager, Mark Cobb from Texas, is in his office. I felt like it was probably 10, 15, 20 people trading gunfire back and forth. It was sustained gunfire uh, for uh, a long period of time. So once we heard the machine gun fire, um, I knew we were under attack. A hundred yards away, the VIP accommodation block also comes under attack. BP project general manager, Nick Hitch is there with two executives visiting from the UK and Norway. I opened the door, an alarm went off. And as we stepped outside, there was gunfire uh, coming in our faces, bullets hitting the wall, and Tracer coming overhead. We ran back inside the building and followed the instructions we'd been given, which were to, to find a room to hide in, lock the door, uh, close the curtains, and get down low and be quiet. And we did that. The three of us hid together in one room. Around the same time, a third group of terrorists break into the heart of the plant, the CPF, where the gas is produced. Statoil maintenance manager Bjarne Varg is just starting work with three Norwegian colleagues. I suddenly heard this, da 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 da. And uh, this was uh, just uh, 20 meters from me. At the same time, there came four terrorists in uh, through the front door with their Kalashnikovs. Their faces were covered. We said, don't talk or I'll kill you. 